it's very overwhelming. You know, you walk into a Whole Foods or a health food store and you're like, whoa, what in the world is all this stuff and where do I start? Hey it's Becky, welcome back to my channel. If you guys have been following me for a while, then you know that we eat pretty much mostly all organic and natural food here at home. Every meal that I cook here usually has pretty much all organic ingredients or natural ingredients. It's something that we've been on a journey to do for years. You know, it started years ago with um, apple juice and peanut butter were the first two things that we switched over to organic. And since then, it's been a matter of finding new products to replace old conventional things that maybe were more unhealthy to try to find a more natural or organic version of those things. So now I feel like it's really long past time to, and sometimes we eat things or we use things just out of habit. Maybe we don't think about changing um, all of our food. We change some of them and then we're like, well, wait a minute, I'm putting all this toxic stuff in this packet here on this chicken that's organic. It's kind of counterproductive. That still happens to me. I will go to, to get a spice. It happened to me like two weeks ago. I went to get my garlic salt out of the cabinet and I've had it for a long time because I got it at Costco. So you know, it's the size of like a gallon of milk pretty much. And I didn't look to see that it has GMOs in the garlic salt. So I was sprinkling the garlic salt on these red potatoes, you know, every couple weeks and they're organic red potatoes with organic olive oil that I'm spreading garlic salt on it with GMOs in them. So I was like, why? I'm so stupid. So I think there's all, always things like that that we buy out of habit or we use out of habit without reading the label. And so that was one of those things. One thing that I was using out of habit and I never really thought about changing over to a healthier version is my cookware. And you know, we all love the convenience of nonstick cookware. It makes it really easy to cook. It makes it really easy to clean, but there are chemicals that actually leach into your food when you cook on them that's in that nonstick coating. And why I didn't really think about that until recently it kind of makes me feel ashamed, but I, I really didn't think about it too much. And um, so I really went on a journey to find some healthy cookware that did not have any of that nonstick coating because I wanted to avoid those chemicals that are in those coatings. And so obviously everybody talks about stainless steel. It's really a good option. It's what a lot of professional chefs use. Uh, and I am by no means a professional chef, but the reason I was hesitant to use stainless steel is because there are a lot of people that complain about the food that sticks in stainless steel. So I've had my set for a little while now. I don't notice that anything sticks really any worse. I just have to adjust the, the temperature that I'm cooking my food. So instead of starting maybe a skillet out on high, I would start it out a little bit lower and then make sure I have enough like water or maybe an oil or something in the pan to keep it from burning. Other than that, it's been going really well because I was really, really intimidated by, by using stainless steel cookware. But like I said, it's been working out really well and I actually like this set better then the set I had previously, which was all like Teflon coated and everything, I actually like this set better. I threw all my old cookware away and I'm actually using this one. It's not a very expensive set. I think it was around $60. It is the Cook and Home 10 piece stainless steel rust proof cookware set. One reason why I like this set and chose this set in particular is because it does have rubberized handles. A lot of stainless steel cookware does not and sometimes they can get hot. And I didn't want to have to worry about like, was it going to get hot? Was I going to have to wear a pot holder just to like move a pan or anything? So I like these because they do have the rubberized handle. They all came with lids. And this set in particular has an encapsulated bottom, which means it does have aluminum in the bottom of the pan, and but it's coated with a stainless steel. So it's not actually going to touch your food because you wouldn't want to cook in aluminum um, because of aluminum leaching into your food. But this set so far has been working out really well. It was very, very affordable. I've been putting it in the dishwasher and so far so good. So um, maybe rethink your cookware. You know, are you using nonstick cookware? Does it have chips in it? Because if it does, then some of that coating is gonna get in your food. And even if it doesn't have chips in it, you know, there are issues with some of the chemicals they put in those coatings that gets in your food when the temperatures heat up it transfers to your food and you're eating it. Even if you're not gonna go to a stainless steel option, the very least that you can do and should do is try to find a cookware that is PFOA free. That's one of the chemical carcinogens that's in conventional nonstick cookware that you should try to find cookware that is free of that. Um, and so there are some ceramic options that are also supposed to be safer. So you maybe could look into that. I actually 
thought I would try stainless steel first. But there are quite a few options out there for you. I think more and more people are starting to learn and realize they should switch their cookware over and they are making that switch. So that's the first thing I would say. Also, whenever possible, get rid of your plastic uh, Tupperware type containers and switch to glass bowls. This is a Pyrex bowl. There's all different sizes. I've lost my lid. It's around here somewhere. You can get all different sizes of these Pyrex bowls. It is so much safer to cook and store your food in glass than it is in Tupperware, especially if you are heating things in the microwave. You should not be heating things in the microwave in plastic bowls because the chemicals in the plastic get into your food. So these are great for storing food. They're great for cooking in. You can put them in the oven. You can put them in the microwave. You can put them in the freezer. And I love them. I have tons of these, all different sizes, and I love them. So I highly recommend glass baking dishes and storage bowls. I'm going back to aluminum. Using aluminum foil was another one of those things that I, I just did out of habit because my mom always did it and I've always done it. And I never thought about the fact that if you're cooking on aluminum foil, guess what? The aluminum can get in your food and we don't want to use aluminum in our deodorants. And I've talked before about using aluminum free deodorant and I use native by the way. Um, it's linked below. It's the best deodorant ever. It does not have aluminum in it. Um, but you shouldn't be cooking on aluminum either, but it didn't occur to me that that would happen. So recently I have switched over to parchment paper. Parchment paper is much safer for you to use and it is oven safe, usually up to 420, 425 degrees. So it's a much safer option um, than using foil. And it, it's just one extra step you can take that you know, using aluminum foil is not probably going to kill you, but it's one of those easy things you can change that can only help you and benefit you. So why not? Another thing that we have done in the kitchen to be healthier is, and this is something we've done for years now, is I haven't bought bottled water for years. Used to, I would buy bottled water every week to use at home. Now, the only time we buy bottled water is when we're going on vacation because I like to have, you know, take it to Disney or something. Other than that, we use a water filter and just reusable water bottles that are BPA free. So it definitely saves you money by not having to buy water bottles every week and it's better for the environment and you don't have to worry about BPA being in those water bottles because when those water bottles get hot, BPA leaches into the water and then you drink it and so you're drinking BPA, which is a chemical that's added to a lot of plastics. So it's definitely something that it's an easy switch to make. It's actually nice too because you can get a bigger sized um, reusable water bottle to fill a lot more water in it. So you probably will drink more water if you have a bigger water bottle than if you have like a bunch of little water bottles. Um, so it's definitely something to think about to replace. It's an easy switch and it can only help you in the long run. Another easy, healthy kitchen swap that you can make right now to be healthier is to replace the type of cheese that you're using. Cellulose is an additive that's actually wood or cotton that they put in cheese. They use it in some other things for thickening. That is basically you're eating trees, eating wood that they put in cheese especially. It's an anti-caking agent in that case and it keeps the cheese from caking together. Even organic shredded cheese has cellulose in it. So unless you get organic block cheese and shred it yourself, there is cellulose in that cheese. And so that's one thing I was doing. I was buying organic shredded cheese thinking, well, it's organic, so it's fine. Not realizing that there's still cellulose in the organic shredded cheese. So I'm like, why? Why am I spending all this money on organic shredded cheese when it still has cellulose? So now I have switched to organic block cheese. And yes, it's a little bit more work to shred the cheese myself, but it really isn't that big of a deal. And I feel like it's worth it to get another additive out of my food and out of my kids and my family's food and it's really not much more effort on my part. So it's just something to think about. Another healthier swap that I have made in the kitchen, this is an easy one to replace um, sour cream or uh, mayonnaise. I actually use Greek yogurt and I really don't notice any difference. If anything, it's a texture difference more so than a flavor difference. But Greek yogurt is way better for you. It's way higher in protein, way lower in fat just overall better for you than mayonnaise or sour cream. So it's just something to try, you know, try it. If you don't like it, you can, you know, try some other brands or maybe something, you know, like I started out with the FIA 2%, now I use the FIA 0%. So, you know, it's something you can definitely try and kind of get yourself used to, but I think you'll notice that it's really not a big deal that you are missing out on regular mayonnaise or regular sour cream and it's way better for you. And the last healthy kitchen swap that you can change right now is the microwave. Now this is gonna be controversial because 
There are people that either swear that using the microwave is bad for you and other people that say it's fine. I actually used a microwave for years. I grew up using a microwave. I used a microwave with my youngest daughter's food. It was one of those things that did not occur to me um, until recent years when there have been a little bit more research studies done that say, you know, potentially microwaving your food could be dangerous to you. Do your own research, make up your own mind. I have an article linked for you guys if you want to read it, but definitely it's one of those things that it's not a big deal to not use the microwave. And I feel like the benefits of not using it will outweigh the little bit of inconvenience of being able to use a microwave. So I personally have not used a microwave um, for me or my girls for a couple years now. My husband still uses it every now and again. That's his decision to make. But as far as heating things up or cooking things or reheating things or thawing things, I haven't used a microwave for our cooking in years. And I really don't miss it. You know, in the beginning, it was a little weird, like figuring out how to reheat food in the oven um, that had been in the refrigerator. Like it used, it used to be so easy just to stick it in the microwave. And I'm like, okay, done in two minutes. It's a little bit of a learning process, but I feel better about doing it. I feel like it's a healthier way to cook and a healthier way to reheat food and a healthier way to thaw food than using the microwave. And again, it's one of those things that, is it gonna kill me to use a microwave? Probably not. But it's one of those that may be helpful and may be healthier. And, and if the, the research that says using the microwave is dangerous is correct, then it makes me feel better to just, you know, inconvenience myself a little bit to use only the oven and the stovetop to cook food and reheat food. Um, it makes me feel better to know that if they're right, I am choosing not to use the microwave and using other ways to cook and reheat food. So just something for you guys to think about. Make your own decision, um, but that's what we've decided to do. So these are my seven healthy swaps that you can make in the kitchen right now to be healthier. I hope it was helpful. I'll have some of the products linked below for you guys, like the cookware and the parchment paper and the glass bowls and all that stuff. I'll have that link below for you guys as well as that article about the microwave and just so you can kind of read it and do your own research and make up your own mind. But it is hard sometimes. It's hard to, to know where to start when you're trying to be healthier and you're trying to eat healthier and you're trying to cook healthier. It's very overwhelming. You know, you walk into a Whole Foods or a health food store and you're like, whoa, what in the world is all this stuff and where do I start? I've done a little bit of the legwork for you guys as far as... Um, some things to think about in your kitchen, some ways to be healthier every single day by the, by the cookware that you use and the storage bowls and things like that. So I hope it was helpful. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of this video. If you wanna see two of my older videos, you can click the links right here. And if you wanna to subscribe to my channel, if you haven't already, and you definitely should, you can click right here. I upload every single week. I have some links in the description box for some of my favorite stores and products, as well as my PO box address. Check out those links if you're interested in those. And I will see you guys in the next video.